Big story we're tracking, Mata Nayak Neeraj Kumar's relatives have uh, refused to cremate his mortal remains until representatives of the central and state governments agree to attend his uh, cremation ceremony. Family members also say that they want a written assurance from the center that it will take uh, appropriate measures to safeguard the lives of soldiers along the line of control. They're also demanding financial help uh, from the center. Families claiming that they've lost their only breadwinner. These are pictures that we're getting you from Buland Shahar. Army Jawans have uh, gathered uh, for the last rites, but family members refusing to cremate uh, those soldiers, saying that they want representatives from the central and state governments to be present there for the last rites. Entire, the entire village, in fact, of, uh, uh, of Buland Shahar had gathered to pay tribute to the two soldiers who made the supreme sacrifice for the country. Aunt Nayaka Kumar's family now saying that they want a written assurance that the central government will take appropriate measure to safeguard the lives of soldiers along the LOC and also provide this particular family proper help. They're also demanding that the Indian government take a, a strict stand against Pakistan which is continuing to violate ceasefire along the LOC. Three Indian soldiers have lost their lives over the last 48 hours in Pakistani firing on uh, BSF border troops. That's the traditional gun salute being accorded uh, to the martyrs uh, by soldiers of the Indian Army for the two soldiers who lost their lives in Pakistani firing along the LOC. The grieving family of Neeraj Kumar, one of the Jawans killed during the border flare-up, says it will not cremate his body till representatives of uh, the central and state government present themselves in person. Also saying that the government needs to give a written assurance that strict action will be taken against Pakistan and that they will also be provided financial help. हमारी डिमांड ये है कि हमारे यहाँ अभी तक प्रदेश सरकार से ना ही कोई नेता आया है ना केंद्र सरकार से नेता है और तो छोटे लेवल के हमारे पास में डीएम या उनके सही कोई भी नहीं आया है बहुत बड़ा अपमान है ये हमारे भाई के लिए मोदी जी ने बोला था कि एक सर कटेगा तो हम दर्द सर काट के जाके देंगे मोदी जी की बातें कहाँ रह गई अब तक भी कोई भी आश्वासन नहीं दिया गया ना ही कोई नेता आया है और हम जब तक अपने भाई का अंतिम संस्कार नहीं होने देंगे जब तक हमारी भाभी या भाई भतीजों के लिए जब तक लिखित रूप से कोई भी हमें आश्वासन नहीं दिया जाएगा Right, preparations are underway for last rites uh, of the two soldiers who were killed in Pakistani firing in Jammu and Kashmir. Family victims are demanding assurances by the central government that strict action will be taken against Pakistan. Pakistan member has been repeatedly violating ceasefire. Even as we speak uh, about uh, cremation being organized uh, in Bulanchahar, Police officers in the army are engaged in a gun battle with militants in Kupwara, where seven to eight militants are believed to be on the loose. In fact, this morning, an alleged militant was uh, killed in that gun battle. Over the last 48 hours, three soldiers have been killed in firing from the Pakistani side. Family members now claiming that they want representatives uh, from the central and state governments to make an appearance. They're saying they will not carry out the last rites till they can see representatives from the governments 
also paying tribute to the soldiers and recognizing their supreme sacrifice. All right, so local leaders are gathering there uh, for the last rites. The entire community has gathered to pay tribute to the two soldiers who lost their lives while protecting our borders. Family members had initially claimed that they will not uh, light the funeral pyre till representatives from the central and state government also come and pay tribute to the two soldiers in person. These are pictures that we're getting you from Bulan Shahir.